How do I register my child for kindergarten? What school types are available? And what education options do my children have? My name is Derek Gonzalez, and in this Start Veen video, I'm going to tell you about the education system in Austria. Let's start with the youngest ones. If your child is between zero and three years old, they can go to a Kinderkrippe or day nursery. From three to six years, they can attend a kindergarten. In addition, there are registered childminders, so-called Tagesmutter and Tagesvetter, who provide childcare for children up to the age of six. Kindergartens promote and support your child's development. They will find friends and can prepare for school. Because this is very important, all children have to attend kindergarten in the year before they enter school. This is called the Verflinktentes Kindergartenjahr, or Compulsory Kindergarten Year. Basically, kindergartens run by the City of Vienna are free of charge. To register your child for a kindergarten, simply register with the Municipal Department 10 to obtain a client ID number. My advice is to register in good time, ideally one year in advance. Also watch the video, Kindergartens and Child Care, for further information. After finishing kindergarten, children move on to school. In Austria, all children have to complete nine years of school. In addition, children have to stay in education or training up to the age of 18 because education is important. Let's look at two examples. Ivo is currently completing an apprenticeship as an electrician. He has completed four years of Volksschule or primary school and then four years of the Gymnasium Unterstufe. Since he is good at working with his hands, he has completed year nine at the Polytechnische Schule, a pre-vocational school. There he gets to know different apprenticeship trades and decides to become an electrician. At the age of 18, he will already be earning his own money. Leila goes to Handel's Academy, a commercial school. Leila and her family moved to Austria when she was 12 because of her school certificates, the Vienna Board of Education allocated Leila a place at Mittelschule or middle school. In the beginning, she had extra German classes and she quickly improved her language skills. After Mittelschule, Leila decided to attend a Berufsbildende Hörerschule with a focus on occupations and commerce. At the end of the Handelsakademie, she earns a Matura Diploma now she can decide whether she wants to take up a job with a bank or a commercial company or go on to university. The educational careers of Ivo and Leila show the diversity of the Austrian education system. It promotes children's individual interests and other different specializations. After four years of Volksschule, children and parents choose between Mittelschule and Gymnasium. After another four years at the age of 14, children have to make another major decision. They can choose between a Berufsbildende Schule, a Polytechnische Schule, or a Gymnasium Oberstufe. Also, watch the video Youth Education and Apprenticeships for further details on the individual school types. Young people who have passed the Matura exam can go on to study at university or the University of Applied Sciences. If you have higher level qualifications or have learned a skilled trade, you will get better job opportunities. And here is advice that applies to everyone. Society and the labor market are constantly changing. Therefore, lifelong learning becomes more and more important. To stay in the game, you can complete a course to take the Matura Diploma, enroll in continuing education or workshops, or attend courses at VHS because you never stop learning in life. 